I went to a Bible college in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Nagenda mu Bible college mu Tulsa, Oklahoma. And while I was there, Andrew Womack came. Iranga ndiye yo, Andrew Womack anajja. And talked to me and asked me what I was going to do after graduation. Nambuza ya jajendi, nambuza chogenda kola chibu nubo mazo kutikirwa. And I said I really don't know. He says, "Well, why don't you come with me down to Children's Texas?" Nemugamba, ndiye chamba zimasema nyinyo dala chengenda kola nena ngamba. Lwacha tugenda fembi mu Childis e Texas. And uh We want to do a ministry down there. We want to start a work down there. So I went down to Childress, Texas. And I got a job. And I was working at a car wash. And I had this boss, had a dozer service, and he also had a car wash. Eya ina company eye bikarakita ebiti ebiri mengudo no kusende taka ngera ina ne chifo wolize we motoka and uh, one day i said to my boss i said jerry i want to ask you a question olumu nenga mukama wango oyo jerry ne mugamba ti jerry kankubuze ye chibuzo what do you think a person would have to do in order to go to heaven ndiguru woza omuntu ayina kukola chi okusobola genda muguru And Jerry thought about it a minute. Jerry, nachiro weza kukumali da chika. And he said, well, you know, do the best you can. Nagamba, mmanyi, wino kukula chona chioso wola. Live a good life. Tambuli nambula mubu lunji. Keep the Ten Commandments. Don't commit adultery. Kuma mateke kumi, toyenda. Um, give to charity. Katibuotyo, na wono nyivobu yambi kugamba. Bakati yamba na wobu ilangu vayamba. Live a good life. Do the best you can. Tambuli nambula mubu lunji. Kula chone chiso woka. And I said, Jerry, do you know what it takes to go to heaven? Nemubuza nemugamba Jerry, omacha chitegeza gwe okugenda muguru. It takes you need to be perfect in order to go to heaven. Nemugamba anti gwe okugenda muguru chikwita giso kubanga otukiride ogenda muguru. And Jerry was shocked. Jerry chamukanga nyo. Jerry says, I beg your pardon. No one. No one's perfect. Jerry nagamba anti tsoko demu mpulile chogamba kubanga tewali nomu atukiride only jesus christ was the only perfect person ndi yesu yekayeka yali omuntu atukiride and i said jerry you've got the point namugamba ati eh jerry chindi chogamba chitufu that is the point eyi yinsunge nkuru no one's perfect tewali nomu atukiride except jesus christ okujja ko yesu kristo yeka and god's not going to let sin into heaven kakati atika tonda tagenda kukiriza chibicho na kuyingira guru and you need a righteousness that equals god kati we eta gobutu kirivu obwenkana kanu bwa katonda in order to enter his kingdom go kusobola kuingira bwa kabaka bwe and god offers that to you freely katikatonda ku obutu kirivu obo nga bwa bwa by grace olwechisa as a gift ngechirabo as an undeserved unmerited favor ngere chintu ikugamba chota gwanira when we actually deserve the opposite naye nga ate chamazima twale bade tuwewa musangu because of the redeeming work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Na yecho ngachisobola kubawo oluwo mulimu Yesu gwe yakola gwo bunonuzi gwe yakola ku musalaba. Romans chapter 3 if you turn there to Romans chapter 3 in verse 21 it says this. Abalumi isule yokusatu olunyiriri olwabiri mu olumu agamba bwati. But now the righteousness of God. Neka kati obutukirivu bwa katonda without the law is manifest. Obutegeze bwa mateka bula bisiwa is manifested being witnessed by the law and the prophets bula bisiwa obutegezebwa amateka ne banabbi notice that the righteousness that god offers nti obutukirivu katonda bwagaba people is a righteousness not of works obutukirivu katonda bwawe eri abantu webutukirivu obutali ko bikolwa not a righteousness of the best that you can do siwe obutukirivu obwenzi okwefudura okubanga ofubye nyo nokole birunji but the righteousness of god na ye obutukirivu bwa katonda it's going to take the righteousness of god to enter god's kingdom and to be with god forever and ever chige nda kutwala obutukirivu bwa katonda okuingira mu bwaka bakabwe okusobola kubira na ye mirembe ne mirembe and yet god offers this kind of righteousness the righteousness of god katina te katonda agaba obutukirivu buno obwa katonda nga tabugabira bwerere kirabo and it says here without the law na yogera wano na gamba anti ndio watali mateka and there's no definite article in the greek which means kati muluyona anti wali wo chivunulecho without the principle of law ndio watali nono ya mateka 
principle of law is the principle of doing enuno ya mateka ya kukola earning achieving doing the best you can kukola na kufumanga bwosobolo kubako chiyokola offering the best you can and being condemned okuwaye kicho simo kubera ngo ufubiye ne ate no bera ngo salidwo musango because it's not good enough kubanga era chiyokoze era chisigate chimala so god offers righteousness his very own righteousness the righteousness of god katonda chava wayo obutukirivu obubwe obububwe nyini without the principle of the law without doing earning or achieving owatali nunu ne yamateka eyokukola eyokulafubana obere kuno chiyofuna because the righteousness that god offers is his own righteousness kubanga obutukirivu bwakatonda butuwele dilo obutukirivu obuwe bwenyini and it's offered freely as a gift atemu nange abutuwera bwerere gechirawo and here's how you can receive it my friend here's how you can receive it era wa boti wosobola kubufuna it says in verse 22 ayogera mu runyiri olwabiri mwebiri of romans 3 verse 22 uh, even the righteousness of god which is by faith of jesus christ or by faith in jesus christ unto all and upon all them that believe the righteousness of god is offered unto all and upon all those that believe and it comes through faith in Jesus Christ. It's a through faith in Jesus Christ righteousness that God offers. Not the righteousness of doing, earning or achieving, but the righteousness of God siwe butukirivu obwoku kola obwoku lafubala no bako chiyokola given freely to you as a gift buno butuwe bwanga bwabwerere nge kirabo through faith in Jesus Christ okuyita mukukiriza nga tukiriza mu Kristo Yesu and notice it says here it's unto all and upon all that believe and then it makes this little phrase kakati gwichitulye ntibuli eri awo kuna abakiriza nale kwagira ekigambo kino for there is no difference ntikubanga tewali wonja ulo there is no distinction verse 23 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god tewali wocha ulo ntikubanga bonna bonna bayonona nebatatuka mchitiba cha katonda now the reason that god is offering to you and me a righteousness ensonga lwachi katonda akuwagwe nange obutukirivu bwe that equals his is because first of all we're not righteous and we need righteousness obutukirivu bwe nkano obuwe ensonga eri nti fete tuli batukirivu ate tweta go obutukirivu bwe to enter his kingdom and to be with him okuyingira mbwaka bakabwe tusoro kubera na ye and the bible here says there's no difference there's no distinction kat bible bible ye gaman twali wonja ulo We've all sinned. I've sinned, you've sinned. Fenna twayonona, nayonona, nayo wayonona. Our re- greatest religious pastors or leaders, they've all sinned. We've all sinned. Abakulembeze bafe bonna, abasumba, banaddini, bonna bayonona. And so God here is offering what we need most. Kati wano katonda ali mukutuwa eche tusinga okweta agenyu his very own righteousness and he says instead of it coming by the law keeping the ten commandments and keeping all the rules the regulation it comes freely as a gift through faith in Jesus Christ Because Jesus Christ banga Yesu Kristo went to the cross yagenda ku musalaba bore our sins in his body yetika ebibili ya fe mu mubiri gwe took our judgment na twalu musango gwa fe and there was a, an exchange made era waliwo okuwanyisa okwakolebwa and the exchange is second corinthians 5:21 says it this way kati okuwanyisa okwakolebwa kuri eri mbakuli nse kyo kubiri God the Father made Jesus Christ to be sin for us. Yadira Yesu Kristo namufula ekibi kulwafe.
who knew no sin that we in return might be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus Jesus took our sin took our judgment and in place of that he offers his very own righteousness God's own righteousness unto all and upon all that will believe in him have you believed in Christ? Have you entrusted yourself to Him? Have you, you know, in the Bible when it talks about believing upon some something or believing on the Lord Jesus Christ? It means not just believing about Him. For instance, I heard one time of a jet pilot that had an accident. He had to parachute out of his plane. Ending up in the ocean, he couldn't swim, so he's drowning. And he saw a piece of Driftwood. And he really believed that that piece of driftwood could save his life. As he watched it float on by and as he drowned. See, the pilot, in order for that driftwood to save him, he had to not believe about it, but he had to entrust himself to that piece of driftwood. He had to get upon it, entrust himself to it, put his weight upon it. And if he had done that, it would have saved his life. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Have you entrusted yourself to him? Have you said, Lord, I can't save myself? I repent for my dead works and all the things that I'm trying to do. I can't be good enough. I need your righteousness. And because your son bore my sin. And, and he freely as a gift offers his righteousness. Right now, I entrust myself and my life to the Savior. You can do that right now. Right where you're at. Right now, from your heart. Without somebody manipulating you or putting pressure on you in any way. You right now can turn to the Savior and entrust your heart and your life to Him. My friend, make that decision today. And the Bible says, you surely will be saved. God bless.